everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I have quite a little bulb shopping haul that I want to show you guys and walk through everything that I purchased before we go out and plant them together. The dogs are playing behind me so if they get a little too loud I do apologize. I bought bulbs from two different places. I made a big purchase from Color Blends which is everything in this box here and then I also purchased some different bulbs from Costco that I want to show you guys. So let's just walk through one by one and I'll show you what I got. I have a few different bulbs that are kind of unique that I've never personally grown before that I'm excited to add to the garden. This first one is a really cool kind of deep purple fritillaria. All these bulbs from Longfield Gardens that are in the bags were purchased at Costco. I think this one looks really unique and cool. It's kind of like individual little bells upside down. This is a Persica fritillaria. It says it blooms in late spring and has a height of 36 inches, which is pretty cool. And there's four of these in this bag. The next one I got is a mixed bag of cilia. I think all the different colors on here are so pretty. It looks like there's a white, a darker kind of purple, and then a light lavender in this particular mix. And it says it's deer resistant, which is great. With the dogs around, the deer have not come up to the house and bothered my roses or my hostas or anything. It says there are 80 of these in here and it works in either sun or shade. And it has a 12 inch height. Kind of sticking with the purple theme, I picked up 50 tulips. There's two different varieties in this particular mix. There's 25 of the purple flag, which is this darker purple one. And then it says there are 25 of the flaming flag, which is this white tulip with the purple striping. It says the purple flag ones, which are the darker purple, grow to a height of 18 inches and they bloom mid spring. And then the white ones with the striping, the flaming flag, grow to a height of 16 inches and also bloom mid spring. At Costco, I also picked up a big bag of daffodils. These narcissists are the double mix. Double means that it has that fluffier kind of petal shape. This mix does not tell me the exact different varieties of each one in the mix. It just says that they're all the double type. And these grow 15 inches high and bloom mid spring. I think those are so pretty. They look really fluffy and kind of has a cool look. Last year, I transplanted a bunch of daffodils all along part of the stretch of our driveway. And there's a bunch of wild daffodils growing in a little grove of trees that I'll eventually like to transplant along the rest of the driveway so that we have daffodils lining the whole driveway. I think that would be really pretty. Let me show you the picture on the back here. You can see another shot of what those daffodils look like. I ordered some tulips last fall when we first moved in from Dutch Holland Bulb Farm and not a single one of them came up for me. They have a guarantee on their bulbs and they were kind enough to reship me the bulbs that didn't grow. So that is what is in this little bag here. I'll put a picture up on the screen of what they're supposed to look like. These are Carnival de Nice and these get 16 to 22 inches high and they kind of look like a red and white candy stripe. So I think these will be fine. Now from the box from Color Blends. The box doesn't look that big on the screen, but there's a lot in here. First thing, Color Blends sent a nice little tote with flowers on it for going to the grocery store and different things. So that'll be fun. Whenever we go to the library, I try to bring a little tote like this for all of our library books. So let's go through everything that's in the box from Color Blends. The first variety I got here is called the Black Tie Tulips. There are 100 of these tulips in this bag, so we're going to have a lot to plant today. They say they grow 22 to 24 inches high, and these I thought were really cool. They have basically black tulips and white tulips. And I think those would look really nice intermixed with these purple and white stripes. So we'll have black, white, and purple. And I think that'll be kind of a fun pattern. Next bag, I have the blue Delta Hyacinth bulbs. I love hyacinths. I think they smell so good. It's probably one of my favorite fragrances. 
I have some hyacinths in the garden kind of lining one of the beds. I'll show you in a little bit. And I plan on continuing that line with these. So I actually picked up two of these bags of 25 hyacinths for a total of 50 hyacinths. And this is the Blue Delta. So this has a deep purpley blue color and a white colored bulb all in our mix. So you can kind of see the white ones are the white and the ones that turn blue have kind of the red skin on them. And then the last bag from Color Blends that is in here are five giant allium bulbs. I purchased the Globe Master Allium. These get up to 38 inches tall, which I think is really fun. They're quite large bulbs. I think this would be really cool to have these in the garden. I think the kids will find them kind of whimsical and that should be fun. So as you can see, we have a lot to get planting. So let's go ahead and put all these into the ground. The first bulb variety that we're gonna be planting are our blue and white hyacinths. I already have the hyacinths lining this bed on the east side of the house, going from the back stoop all the way to about halfway. And I wanna continue that edging pattern all the way down to the other corner. Last fall, I just didn't want to purchase that many bulbs, so I wanted to hold off till this year. So let's plant those in the ground first. And for each of the bulbs that we're planting today, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Espoma bulb tone in each hole. This one actually, I just noticed, has a little hole in the bag from the store, so I'm going to put it just in this cardboard box so I don't lose any of it. Now I've read that hyacinth bulbs can irritate your skin. I have never personally experienced that and hyacinths are something I've been growing for several years. However, I am wearing gloves today. Just to be on the safe side anyhow. These bulbs are pretty large, which I'm excited about. The planting tag recommends five inches deep and five inches apart. I'm using my Hori Hori knife which Ryan got me for Christmas last year, and I really do like it. It has a ruler on the knife, which makes planting things like bulbs that need to be a certain depth really easy. And it also, hi, it also has quite a sharp edge on it that makes digging the hole a lot easier. that took a minute but I got the holes all dug all along the edge of the bed snaking around over to where that tall grass is let's put a little bit of the bulb tone in each hole it says about oh I have a ladybug let's put a little bit of the bulb tone in each hole and then I'm gonna do blue white blue white pattern in every hole self-explanatory pointy side up the flat spot down that's where the roots will come out of the hyacinths planted now. I should have counted how many were white and how many were blue. I was just assuming it was an even blend, but this tail end here around the arch is mainly all white because there were significantly more white than blue in the bag. Let's move on to the next variety. This corner here where the grass and the Russian sage are is full sun, so I am going to plant a lot of bulbs right here. These Fritillaria get 36 inches tall, so that's pretty tall. I think I'm going to kind of nestle them in between where the Russian sage is and the high grass. The bulbs are quite large. There's only four bulbs, so 
I'm just kind of going to disperse them evenly. Right in front of these Russian sages, I'm going to do a blend of those tulips, the black and white ones with the purple. The Globe Master Alliums, I'm just going to disperse throughout this little nook here. scattered around here and there. They're quite cute little small balls. about half the tulips over in front of the Russian sage at the far corner and now on this opposite corner here I'm gonna plant the other half. These three are cat's pajamas and this is that yellow knockout rose. Then we have a gardenia and a hydrangea. These other two over here are just annuals so we're gonna put the tulips kind of all in this section. I have a few tulips in the ground already here from last year so hopefully we don't hit any with our shovel. Over here in front of my limelight hydrangeas, I am going to plant the daffodils. Oh, these are daffodils. Yeah. Is she? Is she, Mommy? I see. for hanging out with me as we planted all those bulbs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow along if you want to see what they all look like in the spring. I know I'm really excited to see all of them blooming. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.